Hey guys, it's Lunar here. Welcome to this Resident Evil 7 collectibles guide and walkthrough. In this guide, we're going to take a look at how to complete each part of the game and the location of all the items and where to find them, including 20 Mr. Everywhere statues, 18 empty coins, 32 files, all of which are needed for achievements and trophies. I'll also tell you how to solve all puzzles, dog head and incinerator room ones for this specific level, and how to get the shotgun and find the skeleton key as well. So this video is about the items for the main house, including the first floor, second floor, process room and dissection room. So all of those areas and all the collectibles. If you haven't done so yet, check out the previous video for the items to the guest house. So far all you should have from that video is one antique coin and three files. If you're interested, all the items we find are listed in the description, including all collectibles, but I also listed things like maps, keys, even steroid health upgrades, guns, and plenty of other stuff you might want to know is in this video. Anyway, let's get started. In the main house, at the start after you break free, you want to pick up some stuff in the kitchen. But first head into the living room area, and in the corner of the room is a desk with ammo on it for your gun, right next to it on the floor is a herb. In the centre of the room is a newspaper article you can interact with as it's the first note in this section. Head into the kitchen, another note is hanging on the wall, which is the home improvement receipt. Okay, from here head into the hallway, we're going to try and find a hatch key. Walk along the hall until you get spotted by Jack, run back into the kitchen and the living room area, so you can now try and get past him and back into the hallway. Once you do, he will break through the wall, you can go back through the kitchen and then through the hole in the wall to get behind him, and you will find the key to the hatch in the hallway on the table. Wait for Jack to go away out of this room, and the hatch you can unlock it and drop down using the key. Inside the crawl space, go left and on your left is a lawnmower with an antique coin on it. Make sure to grab that and continue on to the next room. The laundry room is the safe room. Inside of here there are save point, cassette recorder, house map, a chest to store all your stuff and finally a file cabinet with herbs and chemical fluids. So make sure that you gather all those things. So hopefully by now you have composed yourself and are ready to leave. Head to the door on the right. Before you do though there is a box, you can open it to find a lockpick inside. Head out of this room and into the hall. Once you do, the phone in the laundry room will ring, so you have to go back and answer it. And this will trigger a cutscene with the police deputy. In order for it to actually happen, you have to wander around the halls until the policeman appears at the window. After you finish the cutscene, next to the window is a drawer. You can lockpick it to find a medkit inside of there. Okay, now that you have a knife that you received from the deputy, you can head back to the laundry room. Underneath the table is our first Mr. Everywhere bobblehead statue. Hit it with your knife to destroy it. Head out of here and along the corridor all the way to the end which I think is the front door that's been blocked. On the shelf in front of the door is the second statue for you to destroy. Okay so now we can go to the garage like we are supposed to, head back past the laundry room and downstairs into the garage. Make sure that you grab the ammo from the crate that's just there as well. Inside the garage you will meet the deputy. After he's dead and Jack is distracted, you can pick up his gun. Run around the room, there is a cabinet with chemical fluids in it and a table that has the keys to the car. Pick them up and run Jack over. We will skip ahead past the fight, but once this is done, you can then pick up the chemicals if you haven't done so, as well as some ammo on the table, and from here, climb up the ladder next to the table you found the car keys. After some cutscenes, you can climb up. On the left, pick up the shotgun ammo, as we're going to need that for much later on, and on the right, investigate the ox picture to get the statue from inside of it. This statue is actually a key, and you can move the shelf over once you've got the key and back into the main house. You can head back along the corridor past the laundry room to where we got our second bobble head. And on the left of that, use the statue to unlock the big metal doors and into the main hall. So now we are into the main hall part of the house. First things first, as soon as you enter into this room, there is a statue immediately on your left, so you can destroy that. Right next to the bobblehead is a herb, pick that up, the wardrobe beside that has some gunpowder in it, and the drawer to the right has an antique coin, so make sure you grab all of those things. Look behind you and you will see a grandfather clock, go over and you can pick up the pendulum, and we will use that in a second. Beside the clock is a table with a newspaper article on it, and that is our next note that you need to pick up for one of the achievements and trophies. So we want to backtrack a little bit and head into the living room area where we started, and place the pendulum into the living room clock. This will give you the white dog's head, which is the first piece of our puzzle to escaping the main house. You can take this back to the main hall, and you can insert it into the door to free up some of your inventory space. Okay, so we now have to find the two other dog heads. From here we're going to head up the stairs and to the door on the left, Stick to the right hand side and go to the outside area, and you will find the recreation room. There's a bunch of stuff for you to find in here. First, the second dog's head is inside of a book, just examine it. 
There is gunpowder in the bin, a memo on the table beside the entrance, next to that is an antique coin and another bobblehead statue, a drawer beside the bar with Jack's journal, and a VHS tape about Mia. You don't really have to watch this one like we did in the first video. So loads of things to get in here, so make sure you grab all of them. From here we're going to head to the bathroom. Inside here there is a wooden statuette that you will need as well as the ammo in the drawer. And another antique coin is sitting inside of the toilet. So grab all that, when you try to leave you will be attacked by Jack once again. Drop down to the broken banister and head for the laundry room to escape him. You can use this time to store some of your stuff and you can save the game as well. After you wait in the laundry room a little bit, you can try and wait for Jack to go away and then you can head back to the main hall. Activate the projector and use the wooden statuette that we found in the bath to configure the shadow to look like an eagle which will open up a secret door. Go through to the next area, here you will find ammo for handguns, shotguns, chem fluids and psychostimulants on the table. There's also herb in the corner, but most importantly there is a bobblehead statue next to the crow door. So make sure you get all of this stuff. In the next room is an antique coin in the ashtray and some gunpowder. Continue on to the next area to fight a molded for the first time. A few headshots will take him down and you can continue on to the corner room to find another safe room. Once you have saved the game you can look in the drawer on your left to find a note. Remember to read both sides of it for it to register. From here head down to the processing room and kill three more molded so things are starting to get a bit tougher. First just head through the corridors to find the first one. In the room on the right is another one. I want you to defeat the second one. You can read the note that's above the sink. It gives you a clue as to what incinerator doors to open. First do the one on the far right then the one with the red hand, and finally, that slightly opens one of the other incinerators, you can fully open it to find another molded inside. Once you defeat him, he's much tougher, you can find the incinerator room key, which we will use later. Once you've picked up the key, from this room you're going to go out and you're going to head right through a gate, to an open kind of area. Immediately on your left in the wall is an antique coin. Break the boxes here for some ammo and hanging on the shelf right in front of you is a map of the processing area. In the room next to you you will find a scorpion key which is going to open up loads of different areas in the house. A photo that shows a secret in the drawing room which is a hidden steroid which permanently improves your health so we will go back and get that soon. Next to it is a lockpick for the closed chest that was in the room. After the drawing room there's also a closed drawer inside of the second safe room so you can decide which you want to do. The one in the drawing room has shotgun shells in it, the one in the safe room I haven't done yet so we don't know. Inside of the cage is a herb, inside of another shelf is chem fluids. If you go downstairs just beside here there is shotgun ammo, psycho stims and another bobblehead. Okay guys so once you've collected everything from this area we're going to head back to the safe room up the stairs and watch out for a molded that will drop from the ceiling on your way back. From the safe room head back to the main hall through the drawing room, you can use your lockpick to open up the chest for the more shotgun shells or you could have opened the one in the safe room. And once you've done that you can head into the drawing room and you can remove the stone from above the fire to find the steroid injection which will permanently increase your health which is going to be really handy for the final boss fight as it's quite tough. From here head back to the main hall and head up the stairs back towards the recreation room. After fighting Jack you can go to the recreation room again and it has some more stuff unlocked by the scorpion door. A broken shotgun gun, two files for you to find along with other useful items in drawers and stuff in this room so make sure again to pick all this stuff up. Once you're finished picking up all the stuff you can head back to the main hall and you can now replace the shotgun with the broken shotgun as after all you have to replace the shotgun with something else in order to escape the room. If you don't have enough space in your inventory simply head back to a safe room and you can empty some of your stuff into your chest to make space for it. Okay so we're nearly finished now. From the shotgun you want to head through the scorpion door in the main hall and it will take you back to the basement area. Go down and find the boiler room. Follow where I go in the video or just use your map to find it. Inside the boiler room you will have to fight at least 5 molded. However try to conserve your shotgun ammo as you will need it for the final boss fight. So use your pistol first. 
There is also some ammo in this room inside of a bathtub and in the next boiler room there are some shotgun shells as well so keep that in mind. Once the molded are defeated you can head to the dissection room using the key that we found earlier and inside of this room you will find the final dog head key that we need to escape the house. But first, of course, you're going to have to defeat the boss, which is Jack. There are healing packs and ammo for you here, but it's still going to be a really tough fight. So to start the fight, grab the red head and you can start fighting Jack. Once he's defeated, go back to the safe room up the stairs. You can heal and save and head to the main hall and insert the remaining dog head into the door to finish off this section and escape into the yard. So guys, there we have it, a complete guide for the main house first visit as we come back here again later in the game, including all collectibles for achievements or trophies, health upgrades, shotgun, keys, and loads of other stuff. If you found this guide useful, as always, like and subscribe for more. We will be back next time for the next part of the story, which is the yard and the old house. Until then, stay awesome, guys, and I will see you all next time.